What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Lost Judgment video. We're gonna jump into chapter 8. Man, that was so unexpected by the end of chapter 7. It really drives like the emotions of audience as in us. At the same time, like the story is just deep and dark. Alright guys, enough of me yabbling. Let's go man. Let's just get into chapter 8. Let's do this. Previously on Lost Judgment. The school teacher, Yokosawa, is murdered in cold blood, and Yagami is torn with grief. Her death is merely collateral damage to Soma of RK. Soma's real prey is Kawana, who narrowly escapes his trap. It seems Kawana had buried his true identity among a host of other secrets, and to unearth them, Yagami crawls deeper down the rabbit hole. Chapter 8 Phantom of Ichincho. Yeah, that's fine. I get it. You don't want us touching anything inside the room. Is it okay to wait for you inside then? Some private investigators from Kamurocho. Yagami-san and Kaito-san. Yeah, I asked them to help us out with a case we were on a couple days ago. Yes, see you soon. They're coming. The cops are on their way. All right. She was murdered at the hands of Soma. Master. You lied when he said they had no business with her. Why did it have to be her? How did she get pulled into all this? If it's answers you want, you gotta be a detective, talk. We can see the kind of shit that normal people miss. We'll notice what they can't. For now. Can you put aside the pain and do the work you need to do? Big brain Kaido. I think he's right. First, let's narrow our focus. It's not about who or how she was murdered. What's more important here is to figure out the answer to the why. Let's consider her connections. We know one of them was to Kowanda the Handyman. Where that leads is that Soma's gang was after Kowanda. And that's why they broke in. In that case, the clues that we're after here are her personal relationships. There's our lead. Something that shows how a teacher could be connected to a guy like Kuwana. Yeah. Except Kuwana's a fake name, just his alias. His real name was Kitakanta. Soma gave us that. Okay. Not a whole lot of time. Let's do this. Hey. The There's staff. an invisible wound here. What do you think, Kaito-san? Sure is tiny. You think she was stabbed with some kind of long needle? An ice pick, most likely. Soma was holding one up to her. Yeah, it's the same one. That he uh, tried to kill. What the? Hmm? Blood. Not a lot, though. Yeah, looks like it. So, blood probably hurts how far does it go? Give it this far. Yearbook. What the? Yagami san. Isn't that your book from when Sawa Sensei went to Kurokawa Academy? Wouldn't there be photos of people like Yui Mamiya and that bully Kawaii in there? Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Weird that there's so much blood around it. Maybe she was trying to leave us a clue. What do you want to do? Take a peek inside? Kind of frowned on to mess with a murder scene, yeah? If you're gonna look, make it quick. The cops will be here any minute. There's not enough time to check the whole thing. I'm thinking of checking the whole thing. I'm 
gonna hang on to it for now. I'll turn it over to the police later. It's now or never. I won't get another chance to come back to this room. You're gonna take it? Really? Is that even legal? No. Of course not. But fuck legal this time. Those shady Kurokawa Academy graduates might be connected to Mikoshiba's murder. But we're the only ones with that lead right now. The cops could turn this place upside down and still miss that. Hmm, good point. It's better off with us then. Feel like that's what Sawa Sensei wanted. <sighs> it's now or never. Sugiyura, we'll deal with the cops. You take the yearbook and get out of here. Hmm. I have to play the thief? Play? Isn't that exactly what you fucking did back in Kamurocho? Why you gotta bring that up? <laughs> fine, fine, I'll do it. I don't have much time either. Wait, how were they able to get in? Uh, I told her not to open the door until the police came, I'm sure, but she did. Hmm. <laughs> mm, broke it. Alright, anything else? Like face expression? Suspicious. Hey. She has tear on her eyes, damn it. She must have been terrified. Man. Rough, dude. That's it. See. So, Hachat, according to you, the guy who killed Sawa Sensei was. Kazuki Soma. He's the leader of a bunch of thugs in Kamrajo known as RK. Yeah? Well, great. Case closed. Then what's your take on the murder scene, Nabe san? Tone it down, buddy. Remember who's got the badge here. There are footprints of several different men who have been in Sawa Sensei's room. That includes yours, by the way. We'll be analyzing these footprints first, and we'll check any security footage in the surrounding area. We'll ask around for eyewitnesses and narrow down our suspects. And we'll look into Arcade too, of course. Appreciate your help with that, Detective Yagami. I just saw the coroner walk in. You saw the body too, right? Yeah, just to get a rough idea. The body will be taken in for an autopsy. Does your rough idea include the cause and time of death? Cause of death? A single stab from behind into the nape of the neck with a weapon similar to an ice pick. As for the time, we're estimating she's been dead for about three hours. Three hours? That means it must have been right after I saw her on my phone. Hmm. Nabe-san, the police need to get a warrant for Soma. We're asking HQ about him as we speak. We need at least a damn mugshot for a warrant. Then isn't it time to hit the street, get in some thug faces? Assume any face you don't recognize is from RK. I get how you feel, ma'am, but pull it together. Actually, I'm curious about that Kuwana fella, too. He's lived in Ijincho forever. Why were Kamrocho thugs after him? And now I hear Kuwana isn't even his real name? He and Sawa since they were connected, but how? I'm looking for those same answers myself. <sighs> so you know jack shit about anything important. But you can go on home. And just make sure we can reach you. Sure about this, Nabe-san? Yeah. Assholes like him work better on a loose leash. Foul mouth as fuck. But not bad, Pops. Ah. <sighs> What now? Nabe-san, aren't you gonna ask me about Ahara? You know I went to see him in prison. Oh, that. Hmm. You saw the video of Ahara killing Mikoshiba, didn't you? I was coming to talk to Sawa-sensei about it. Your point? I think there may have been a link between what happened to Sawa-sensei and Mikoshiba's murder. 
In which case, wouldn't you want to pump Ahara for information? Why aren't you jumping on that? We got orders from the top that Ahara's off limits. Forever. Wow. They said if we want to try to peg him as Mikoshiba's killer, we'd have to completely flip the guilty verdict on his harassment case. Not exactly the kind of shit a beat cop can pull off. Besides, nobody seems to want to investigate the Mikoshiba murder. Not us, not HQ, not even the prosecution. So cops get to just quit working an investigation because they don't feel like it? <laughs> if there was even a hope we could close it, every cop here would be all over it. Everyone knows Ahara stinks to high hell. And they still won't let us touch the goddamn thing. It's above our pay grade. But bury the case so deep it never sees the light of day. Yeah, feels like Sawa Sensei's case is about to get the same treatment. Hey, I told you to watch it, buddy. Save the dirty looks for your superiors. They're the bastards so desperate to sweep this under the rug. Hell do you! Cool it, Sakurai. Hmm. This is all very sudden. We don't have many details yet. And as you've heard, the police are working to find answers as we speak. Sawa Sensei. Well, she got mixed up in some sort of incident. This may attract press to the school, and some of them may even wish to speak to you. But please, do your best to ignore them. Again, we don't have all of the facts, and it's not for all of you to, well, None of you are under any obligation to speak to them, so please, don't. All that I can ask, for now, spare a prayer for Sawa Sensei, please, if you can. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. We better get everyone back to class. Starting with the third years. Excuse me, Yagami-san? If you don't mind, Chairman Okuda said he'd like to speak with you if you would be on campus today. It's about Sawa-sensei. Yeah, I can do that. Will he be in his office? Yes. Thank you for everything, sir. Dark. Yagami-san. Oh. Hey. I still can't believe what happened to Sawa-sensei. Yeah. I know. Do you know anything about it? I saw the scene of the crime. I was the first one to find her. What? The killer's still on the loose. But I know who it is. Is there any way I can help? Maybe you could share some details about the case. No. Not this time. This one's too dangerous. I'm not gonna get you involved. But... Just leave Sawa-sensei's case to me. Don't you have your own cases to solve? Yagami-san... <sighs> okay. Listen. You're a brilliant kid. You can't afford to let this throw you off your game, right? Yes. You're absolutely right. If I let that happen, it'll damage the MRC's credibility. Exactly. So here's what I'm thinking, Amasawa. Let's just carry on like normal. And please spread the word to the rest of the MRC. That'd help me out a bunch. Yes. I can do that. on the third floor if I remember correctly enter so 
Thank you for coming. Sure. No problem. Have a seat, if you would. In that detective's report, Saba-sensei was... Well, it said you were the one who found her body. That's right. You had been concerned for Saba-sensei's safety before the incident. You're able to see things I can't. You have something of a gift for that, Yakime-san. I wish I could agree with that. But... I'm overlooking details. I'm letting too much slip away. And quite frankly, there's still a lot that I haven't figured out yet, either. Like what? May I have an example? There's this local handyman. Kawana is the name he goes by in the city. Right before it happened, I ran into him in front of Sawa Sensei's apartment. There's no way it was a coincidence. So, you think he could be the culprit? Actually, I don't think so. Not really. That said, Kawana has something to do with all this. Sawa Sensei may have gotten caught up in his mess. In fact, Kawana is just an alias he uses, and he's being hunted by these thugs from Kamrocho. They're a gang called RK, and it's weird, but they've been looking for this punk named Kawai. And Kawai is connected to it, too. Sawa Sensei went to the same school as him 13 years ago. Wow, these details are flying so far over my head. Your investigation has gone well beyond what I can comprehend, and it's left me in the dust. But I just can't do this anymore. Between my own faculty and the press, I'm being bombarded. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to bear. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? What's been the hardest part? is feeling so powerless as all these young people have their lives cut short. Because Shibukun being discovered dead, Ehara-san committing murder on video, and now poor Sawa-sensei's tragedy too. I can't help but feel in my heart that these incidents are related. That somewhere below the surface, all these misfortunes are connected to the same root. I would have to agree. Then I suppose it's only a matter of digging down deep enough. Though I couldn't begin to imagine how much soil would have to be turned to uproot it. But one thing, Yakimi-san, if you would, could I ask that you continue to keep digging until you get to the bottom? Can you? Sawa-sensei deserves to have her chance at justice. A wonderful teacher like her. Why? She had her whole future to look forward to, the poor woman. And now this happens. It's just not right. As it stands, I still need to collect more evidence. So you know, I can't make any promises just yet. I could hit a dead end. But... No matter what anyone does, no matter who tries to stop me, I'm gonna keep digging. You're a saint. These past few days have felt like a never-ending nightmare. What a breath of fresh air. And I appreciate the good news. Of course. I'm glad we could talk, Chairman. And now, Sawa-sensei's old class is going to be my next worry. I'm sure you're well aware that that class has some students with a pension for causing trouble. I fear that with her gone, we may need to prevent a relapse for those bullies you stopped. Are you referring to Kodasan then? Hmm. I understand. While I'm working on campus, I'll keep an eye on them. Check on the class. Every time, boss.
Yagami-san, what do you want? You know, things have been really weird around here ever since you showed up. First, they find Mikoshiba sensei's body. Now Sawa sensei winds up getting murdered. You the angel of death or something? Is that it? I wouldn't blame you for thinking that. Everyone's so damn gloomy. It sucks. Sawa sensei was popular with all the boys. But her classes were super easy, and honestly pretty boring. You won't catch me moping around crying about it like all these losers. Ha ha! <laughs> Hypocrites. You assholes were practically celebrating what happened to Mikoshiba sensei Hey, we've heard enough out of you! Yeah? Fuck off, you little twerp! What do you want, Coda? Yagami-san... Well, we're fine. There's a lot we don't understand, so we just feel a bit vulnerable right now. But, um... Well... If you learn more about Sawa-sensei, could you please keep us in the loop, too? Oh, please, bitch! What's with this goody-two-shoes bullshit? Fucking chill, Akane. What's your problem? Like I said before, I'm a detective, and I'm looking into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. That's why I was talking to Sawa Sensei. It's highly likely she got wrapped up in that case. So make no mistake, I'm going to find the truth about what happened to them both. <laughs> Kinda pointless. The internet's already branded Mikoshiba Sensei as the villain in all this. Everyone says he had it coming since he used to be a bully himself. Yeah, I know. Anyway, if you're interested in hearing my report, just drop me a line. Maybe seeing my work might put things into perspective for you. <laughs> Detective my ass. Just get out of my face! <laughs> so, about Akane. She was really into Mikoshiba Sensei. Who cares? Got along great, chatted all the time. <laughs> then all of a sudden, he just disappeared. She thought they had a connection, but turns out it was only one way. Now she's always so pissed off. Keeps driving herself over the edge because she can't even reach the brakes. <sighs> I'm not saying all this because I expect you to forgive us. The fact that you recognize you did some awful things is a step in the right direction at least. I'm sorry, Coda. For everything we did to you. Dude, that takes balls, man. You can't expect her to ever forgive you. If anything, expect that she never will. <sighs> I know. That said, good job apologizing. Thanks. Welcome back, Tak. Good to see you, Yagamishi. How'd things go at school? The chairman told the entire student body about Sawa-sensei at an assembly. Everyone's pretty shaken up. Yeah. I can't even imagine. I gave the yearbook I took from her room yesterday to Sukumo. Why don't you check it out later, Yagami-san? 
still can't wrap my head around what I saw last night. We have to avenge Sawa-sensei. Right, Tak? Damn right, Skippy. We've been waiting for you, Yagamishi. Let's plan our next moves. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. While in a meeting yesterday, Sawa-sensei received a call that her apartment was broken into, prompting her to go home. Judging from the events that followed, RK must have called her using the apartment manager's name. And that's how they got to Sawa-sensei. But RK wasn't after Sawa-sensei. They were actually after Kuwana, weren't they? Yeah. Akutsu and Soma both said so. I think Sawa-sensei was used to lure Kuwana out. Why would Sawa-sensei be bait to draw out Kuwana? How the hell are those two connected? That too, but why is RK even after Kuwana-san? Thugs from Kamurocho want a handyman in Nijincho? Right. There's still a lot we don't know. We need to find Kuwana before RK does and get some answers out of him. Kuwana isn't even his real name. Apparently it's Kitakata. RK didn't seem to be familiar with the name Kuwana. Truth is, we don't know anything about Kuwana. All we know is that he's a handyman in Ijinsho. I haven't been able to contact Kuwana-san since yesterday, but I left a message asking him to reply. Where's the office for his handyman business? He ran his whole operation from a cell phone. Not even his business card lists an address. Oh yeah, Kaito-san. Didn't you call up all the places we went drinking? Did you find out where he lives? Yep, just found out. Looks like Kuana lives in some kind of prefab shack off West Central Street. Sounds like pretty shitty conditions for a guy charging up the ass for his time. Well, if we know that much, we might as well go take a look. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Tsukumo, we'll talk more later. <laughs> you never slow down, Yagamishi. Let's go. Let's go check what it is out. It? too important not to chase, so... This Kiwana's place? Yeah, I think so. Guess it's kind of fitting for an unlicensed handyman. door's been forced open. Maybe with a crowbar or something. If anyone was in here before us, it had to have been RK. Aside from us, they're the only ones after him. They know where he lives? That means they're already a few steps ahead of us. RK's got the numbers behind him. We can't beat him to the punch every time. I don't think kuwana has been back since last night. He probably caught on that he's a wanted man. He might not even be in Ijin Cho anymore. Then what do we do here? His real name's supposedly Kitakata. I want to know who he really is and why he used a fake name. That'll make his connection to Sawa-sensei clearer. So you want to find clues that point to his true identity? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, Kaito-san. <laughs> An ashtray. Huh. 
That's weird. What? With all the gross garbage in here, this ashtray is oddly empty. Mm. Think so? Hey. I mean, yeah, it's clean and all, but so what? Could just be freshly empty. Except it hasn't been washed or even used in a while. See the layer of dust on it? Okay. And? You think a dusty ashtray is going to get us Kuwana's identity? <laughs> Maybe. Or maybe it's nothing. Anything in the back? Oh, I can put it back. What the? Cigarettes. Are these Kiwanis? I don't think so. Pretty sure he's been vaping. Exactly. Oh, that's right. He smokes e-cigarettes. An ashtray that's hardly been used. Regular cigarettes that aren't being smoked. That bug you or something? Plenty of folks smoke normal cigarettes and vape, too. True. But a detective can't find answers without going over every last detail first. This lighter. What now? Whoa. A USB memory stick disguised as a lighter. Damn. Did you just hit the jackpot or what? That has to be important if Kuwana was hiding it like this. What matters is the data on it. We'd be able to check it now if we had a computer. Then why don't we head back to Tsukumo's? Thank goodness we found something. Yeah. Thank goodness. Suspicious. Okay, looks like they just wanted to trash the place. Yep, pretty much screams RK. Nothing more than a bunch of punks. Leftovers from a ramen cup. Would it have killed him to clean up a bit? Hm. I'm starting to think this place was a dump even before it got ransacked. Hey. Get the sides in office. Collecting junk, walking pets, fixing pipes, taking any odd job that comes his way. Not so different from us. A handyman, a detective, it's two sides of the same coin. Hmm. A reference to chapter three, I might say. Two, three. All right, I think that's it. It got dark. Huh? What's the matter, Tuck? Looks like a meet and greet. Oh, yeah? More of uh, these punks. Think they're RK? Well, they're the only ones looking for Kuana other than us, right? Don't see Soma or Akatsu, though. He sent the fucking B team. Probably for the best. If Soma was here, I don't think I can stay cool. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> Which one of you is gonna talk? Where are Soma and Akatsu? There's no point in talking to a dead man. Uh-huh. Well, if that's how you're gonna play it, then we're not holding back either. Ah! 
Where are Soma and Akatsu? I want to talk to them. We can't contact them, I swear. They're the ones who contact us. It's always been like that. Uh, figured as much. Yeah. Most of the RK crew are just chumps. Yeah. I bet even Soma is just another piece on the board, taking orders from the real mastermind. Thugs don't work gigs that don't pay. Yet they came to Eugene Show, outside their turf, to commit murder. That's true. Sounds like someone's funding them. There must be some generous perks. Definitely. Otherwise, Soma and the others wouldn't be causing so much chaos over here. Man, that's a good call. Then, who's the one pulling RK's strings? I don't know who it is, but I know what he's trying to do. Which is? Catch Kuwana. RK's just following orders. Sawa sensei was probably collateral damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Shit. I swear I'm gonna drag this bastard out on his ass. If we keep looking for Kiwana, we'll run into the one behind this all eventually. And this could be our first clue. Then we'd better get back to Sukumo's. What's going on out here? Are you friends of Kiwana sons? Uh, yeah, we are. And those gentlemen on the ground? Those guys? Oh, yeah, they're just wasted. Little nap and they'll head right on home. Ah, I see. <laughs> well, that's just fine. Excuse me, but you know Kiwana, don't you? Sure. I mean, he's lived next door for the last ten years. But he's a handyman. Anytime we were short-handed, he'd come by and help us out. We pay him with our daily special. Hmm. Oh, I nice. haven't heard from Kiwana since last night. But do you happen to know any places he visits often? Let's see. He has an uncle that took him in when he first came to Yokohama. Called him a distant relative or something. He's an ex-Yakuza running a bar since he got out of the game. Apparently, this uncle is how he started getting gigs around town. What did Kiwana do before he became a handyman? Hmm. Beats me. Uh, maybe some kind of corporate job? I don't think I've ever asked. Where can we find Kuana's uncle's bar? Oh, the bar's called Siren. It's over in Chinatown. I've been there two or three times myself. The owner is a real nice guy. Hard to tell he was ever a Yakuza. Then we better get over there, too. Can't afford to fall behind RK again. Let's hurry. Thanks for everything. And sorry for bothering you. Oh, don't mention it. Mm. All right, let's hit it. What is it? Siren. This is it, Doc. This is the bar Kuwana's relative runs. Seems kind of quiet. Hello? Anybody here? The 
this place empty too? It's definitely messy in here, but it wasn't exactly ransacked. Yeah, more like someone had to skip town in a hurry. Did the owner already make a break for it then? Be smart if he did. What with Arke about to come hunt down Kuwana and all. Mm. Let's hit it. Sam hit me inside bar. Hey, uh, the name of this place was Siren, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. Hi. You've reached Siren? <laughs> Soma, that was well played. How silly of me. This pretty little thing is for women. <laughs> Hmm. Have I told you what RK stands for yet? It's red. Knife. You son of a... Soma! The owner must have smelled trouble coming. He took off before I could find him. Man, Kaino got hit Tell again. Me, why did you kill Sawa-sensei? <sighs> I'm afraid she knew too much. And that's all. And that's all? You're in the same boat. We can't afford to ignore you anymore. And you already made a mistake. You didn't kill me when you could have. I'll own up to that. Akutsu wasn't equipped to handle the task. Well then, now you pay the price for it. Will I? Let's go. Kaito's down and you're by yourself. Should be easy. Just a tight space. It's tough. I better. Impressive. 
Maybe I should have prioritized stabbing you over Kaito. Uh, 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 fuck. You're kind of struggling to stand, aren't you? Give it a second. That kick went to your temple. I'm sure your head is spinning. Trying to rush it will only make it worse. Incidentally, Sawa Sensei didn't suffer long like you will. What the hell? Whoever that is has terrible timing. What the hell are you doing in my bar? Hello? Is this the owner? Yes. Kuana kun warned me you'd show up. I decided I'd get out of there before you did. Don't expect that I'll ever come back either. All I wanted with Kuana-san was to have a little chat. No need to go running for your lives now. Spare me the lies. I already know you broke into a young woman's home and killed her. Come on. You wouldn't even hesitate on an old man in his 70s. Pass the phone to Yagami-san, please. Hmm? I mean, Otherwise, I'm calling the cops over there. What could you possibly want with him? Quit stalling and give him the phone. Unless you'd rather I push a button and call the cops. I'm done talking to you. The owner of the bar would like a word with you. Sorry, but this'll have to wait. Can you get an ambulance over to your bar right away? My partner took a knife to his abdomen. What? Please, you have to hurry! Man, just saved by the phone call. And I got saved by freaking fireballs. Hello? Your partner is in good hands now. Just as you asked. I'm watching you as we speak. Oh, and don't bother looking for me. I won't be meeting you there. Instead, there's a karaoke bar called Survive. Heard of it? Ooh, of course. You'll find it in the entertainment district along the river. Safest bar in town. I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kiwana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, you'll never hear from me again. That's one way to motivate someone. <laughs> Clock's ticking, by the way. So, Survive in the Entertainment District? Correct. See you soon. It better be. Apologies for the wait. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I cheated uh, fighting uh, Soma, but I didn't know I have like 60 seconds of fireballs coming out of my hands. That was kind of interesting. And uh, he's definitely tough. I gotta level up a little bit more before I go up against him. Once again, thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next chapter.